Now, Denver Mayor Michael Hancock issued an emergency declaration to support the growing number of migrants coming to our city. So first, I want to break down the numbers here. The city says nearly 250 migrants have arrived since Monday. More than 900 have arrived over the past few months, including more than 600 since December 2nd. Denver 7's Amy Wattis in the studio tonight to explain this emergency declaration. Amy? Shannon, Mayor Hancock says the unanticipated influx of migrants has put an immense strain on the city of Denver's resources, a level that, that he says is on the verge of reaching a breaking point. For questions. This is, um, I can tell you, as challenging of an immediate circumstance as we have seen in our city. Denver Mayor Michael Hancock says he's doing what he can to prevent a local humanitarian crisis from happening as migrants from the southern border continue to flock to the city and county. He says hundreds of migrants have arrived in Denver in the past few months, several hundred in just the past few days alone, putting pressure on the city's efforts to find shelter due to limited space and staffing. First of our emergency shelters, which was utilizing a recreation center, reached its capacity of 275 people. So an additional recreation center that will service as an emergency shelter for up to 100 people was activated Wednesday. This is why the mayor issued an emergency declaration for the city and county of Denver today. This declaration will give us another tool in our toolbox to free up and secure resources and streamline processes, including funding, and sheltering options. Mayor Hancock also addressed the situation at the U.S. border with Mexico. He's calling on political leaders in both parties to address this crisis many cities across the nation are facing. But cities all over this country are once again having to respond because of the failure of our Congress and federal government to address a very cr a critical situation. Mayor Hancock says the city and county has spent more than $800,000 on sheltering migrants so far and expects that number to continue to go up. He's also asking the community to help cover shifts. And Anna Shannon, right now, he says city workers are pulling double and triple shifts to help. So if you are interested in volunteering, we'll have a link on our website, denver7.com, right. for people to check out. Good information. Thank you, Amy. Right. Thanks, Amy. And the city of Denver is asking people all over the state for donations to help these people. Now, a donation site has been set up at Iglesia Ciudad de Dios. This is near Sheridan and Warren. And volunteers also with a nonprofit, Papago, uh, Papagayo, are also helping organize donations. People are coming to continue. Not only the climate, but also the culture. I believe in people. And I believe in the sense of community. I believe that this nation was built on pure heart. You know, we are here for one another. Here's a list of the items needed most. Coats, pants, socks, underwear, and children's clothes. You can drop them off at the church from 4 to 7, Tuesdays and Wednesdays.